Well, welcome back to the channel, Riding the Islands with Harrow. Today I'm going to do a review on the NMAX. Now the NMAX, this particular NMAX I bought in February this year and um, I've done about 3,800 kilometres on it. So it's been a really good bike. Um, I'm going to go through a few of its features, talk about the suitability, talk about performance, etc. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little, um, little clip. So very very comfortable bike to sit on and get on um if if you you know if you've got a bit of a big belly or if you struggle to sort of lift your legs up this is the bike that you can just slide on and get onto very very easily it's it's quiet as a mouse it starts up really 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 well which i'll just show you it's a key version you can get the keyless versions i'll just start it up Is the start up on it? Sorry about that. You lost uh, me, but very smooth bike. It's up on it. The good thing about it, it's got a center stand. So I like bikes with center stands. So I put things on center stands all the time. So yeah, easy. It's it's um it's got a, you know the fuel is under here and the seat under here, so you can fit a helmet under there quite easily. The papers, etc. So um, no toolkit on this bike. Not that I can see. No doubt that must be the air cleaner under there, but yeah, lots of space under the seat here. And on the back of it is a box, a shad. I bought a, uh, a shad box, which is about 32 liters. It's a plastic one and the plastic boxes, um, after a while they tend to rattle a little bit, so you need to tighten them up. Um, I put a, a phone holder on it, which is handy. And in here there's a, a US, sorry, there's a uh, 12 volt charging port you can put a little uh, usb uh, device in there so you can just plug your phone in and have it going while you like um the spotlights are great this is a pretty cool looking bike from the front it looks nice and i think it's got a bit of meanness to it you know with those eyes looking at you but yeah got the spotlights there and the twin horns um and then i replaced the rear shocks because um i was told from factory they're not that good and I found out, you know, in the 3,800 kilometers I've ridden it sort of on some of the roads, it sort of got a bit clunky. Um, so I replaced the rear shocks and also I um, changed the front fork oil, the factory again. Um, you know, it's recommended that you, you change the front fork oil and that made a big difference. And one of the big things I found with this particular bike makes a difference out on the road is the tire pressure. The tyre pressure is key, so if you're coming over from wherever you're coming from, the States or Australia or any other country, bring a tyre pressure gauge with you. Get a good quality one um, because you're going to need... The, the tyre pressures are crucial in this. I've had tyre pressures here where I've thought, oh, yeah, it's a bit higher than normal or whatever, but it, 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 make, it makes the, the, um, the, the ride rough. Um, put it spot on. I think it's 22 on the front. Have a look in the book. It's 22 in the front and probably 33 in the back, just depending on um, depending on um, if you've got a pillion passenger or if you've got some weight on the back there. As soon as you put a box on the back with any sort of weight, it does lighten up the front end, so you've got to be aware of that. So, um, I've got that on my ADV. I've got an aluminium box, which is quite heavy, and that sort of, um, you know, if I let go of the handlebars, they, they start to wobble a little bit. Really good bike as far as um, performance goes, this bike. Very, very popular in the Philippines. Um, I've had this particular one out to 122 k's an hour, and that's hammering. So, you know, it, and it does it quite easily. So, you know, in the times that I've been out and about on it, it's, it's, it's been really good. Super easy to ride, super low to get on and off. So highly recommended this bike. Um, when I went to the ADV, I found the seat height is higher and, and you're sitting on top. Rather, this one, you're sort of sitting in which is um, really, really important. So don't discount the NMAX. Me personally, I, you know, as I said, I've done 3,800 kilometers on this and I loved it, but um, I just found the ADV a bit better and um, all rounder for myself. But if you're not gonna go on dirt roads or rough roads or, you know, ride the islands like I do, this is a great, great bike. Um, it's got the start, stop, um, system on it so I don't like that you know it turns off automatically you know when you come up to the lights you can you can turn that on and off on the bike as well but um, really good bike um, 
good value bike. They're still making them brand new. There's a couple of brand new ones in the dealership in, in Dumaguete at the moment. And I think they're asking uh, 140 plus. So, but very popular. Lots and lots and lots of them. Um, lots of these I've seen in Cebu, you know, and Max clubs pretty much. A lot of people do a lot of modifications to these, you know, exhausts, etc. And, and they really, um, they go quite well. <laughs> So yeah, um, I just thought I'd do this review on the NMAX to see see if um, yeah, any potential people want to buy one. So this is just from my my thoughts on on the NMAX. Again, you know, highlights for me: super comfortable, super super easy to get on and off. Lots of power um, for a scooter, easy to manoeuvre around town. Um, the only downfall, I suppose, is would be the the rear suspension. Um, but that's easy just to set a shockers those those rear shockers there were were so cheap <laughs> It's like not even fifty dollars. I think you know us so um, it's cheap to to upgrade them and just the normal modifications like spotlights and horns and phone holder And that's about it all you have to do unless you want a box on the back uh, Which is pretty handy when you're going shopping or traveling, you know chuck some 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 things in there some bags of shopping or some clothes so um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna go and do another one on on um, each of the bikes I own. Okay, have a good day viewers. Thank you